cars. They're pretty nifty. But wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to drive them? So people have begun developing driverless cars, both for convenience and safety. Human error plays a part in over 90% of crashes. Now, new research shows there could be another big plus. Driverless taxis could be great news for the environment. Driverless taxis are economical. They can be tailored to your ride. If only one person needs a lift, using a smaller taxi would save space and energy. Driverless taxis travel further. Privately owned cars spend most of the day just sitting about. But driverless taxis can keep zipping around for most of the day and night. So, they end up travelling further each day than normal cars. And for cars that travel further, it makes sense to be electric. That's because electricity is cheaper per mile than petrol. Producing electricity is also better for the environment than burning petrol. Although electricity mostly comes from fossil fuels right now, power supplies are becoming greener all the time. All these benefits really add up. Compared to a normal car today, a driverless taxi in 2030 could reduce emissions per mile by up to 94%. Even if we're all driving hybrids in 2030, using driverless taxis instead could still reduce our emissions. But there's a catch. People. What's unclear in these calculations is how people will use these taxis. Human behaviour could undo a lot of these benefits. For example, people might not want to travel in an economical little taxi. Instead, they might order a bigger vehicle for added comfort and style. And that's if we get the system up and running in the first place. Some experts think we won't manage that before the 2030s. People might not trust driverless vehicles. There might be too much red tape. Or the technology might just be too difficult to develop. But if driverless taxis do make it onto our roads, they could hugely reduce emissions and help protect the environment. Yippee! Plus, it'll give us more time to play with Lego.